In other news, a Roy family in mourning today after a father of six was hit and killed while riding his motorcycle to work on Monday. Fox 13 News reporter Chris Arnold spoke with the victim's mother, son and other loved ones who say 40 year old Ronnie Holkin was devoted to his family. Very kind, loving man. Yeah, everybody's superhero. Fond words from 11 year old Phoenix Holkin when speaking about his dad, Ronnie, also known as RJ. A dad Phoenix says he enjoyed doing plenty of things with. Playing basketball, riding the bike. It was that motorcycle that RJ was riding on Monday, heading into work when Roy City Police say just after 7 a.m. He was hit going southbound by a car that was northbound, turning left into the intersection of 4800 South and 1900 West in Roy. RJ would be transported to the hospital. I got a call from the hospital and they um, told me that they told me that RJ had been in an accident. Where he would later die from his injuries. It was the motorcycle RJ was riding that his mom, Kimberly Weisner, says he had just gotten about a year ago. He just fell in love. That was it. It was over with, done. I was the mom that was yelling at him all the time, wear your helmet. And to Weisner's surprise, RJ took her advice. At the hospital, I told the doctor, I said, I told him to wear his helmet. I told him to wear his helmet. And he said, well, for the first time he listened to you because he was wearing his helmet. Weisner says the Clearfield High grad was a roofer and had worked in construction, even starting a new job just a few weeks ago. However, those closest to him say his best job was being a dad to all six of his children. A good father. Best father I know. Beats me out the water. He has never skipped a beat with not one of them. Like, no matter what he's going through in life, no matter where he's at in life, no matter what he's doing, like that is one thing that his kids can count on. His dad is going to be there. That bond with his family on full display today is about two dozen relatives, loved ones, and friends gathered to remember and talk about RJ and the legacy they say he leaves behind. His legacy is his kids. He just kept going for his kids. He never gave time for himself, never gave money for himself. Everything went to his kids. What are you going to miss most about him? Just his kindness. Well, Weisner also told me today that she heard that a woman was actually on scene here at the intersection the whole time holding RJ's hand after the accident. She told me she wants that woman and that family to know just how grateful she is that they were there for her son in that moment. In Roy, Chris Arnold, Fox 13 News, Utah.